Walt Grayson has hopped back into the Mississippi Moment Corner with the reminder of a moment very important to us here at 12 News. Yeah, last week was Inauguration Day. You know, we were a little busy that day, but it, so we didn't have time to bring this up. But things have sort of backed off a bit. So let's go back to Inauguration Day of 1953 when Dwight Eisenhower became the 34th president of the United States. People here in Jackson got to see it on television that day because that very day, January 20th, 1953, is the day WJTV began broadcasting. We were Mississippi's very first television station. I'm gonna quote a few sentences here from our senior director here at WJTV, Richard Smith, about that day. He says, they weren't exactly putting a man on the moon, to the handful of dedicated men and women who preceded us here at the station, this mission was just as important, and that was to launch and operate the first television station in the state, to serve the city of Jackson with quality programming that both entertained and informed. Soon our coverage area went on to include all of central Mississippi and eventually a majority of the state, and then now, of course, thanks to the internet, our newscast can be viewed across the globe. Well, things have changed a little bit over the years. Here's how our control room looks today. We've got lots of monitors. We've got satellite feeds, internet feeds, both ways, in and out. But as I recall, that it was from this station that you saw Douglas Edwards and then followed by Walter Cronkite with the evening news. I watched Captain Kangaroo every morning. And then Skipper Dick Miller in the afternoon on the good ship Lollipop, which, by the way, Mel was in this same time slot. <laughs> <I> <laughs> Bob Neblett had his weather here. Joanne Van Fleet had her weekend weather. We saw Jack Hobbs and Burt Case covering Hurricane Camille on Channel 12. And I remember Glenn Deere. I remember a whole bunch of other oh, folks. Yes. So, as a happy birthday to WJTV, first in the station, in the sta first television in the station to try on that brand new medium of television. Yeah. And we're still at it 68 years later.